Hi everyone and welcome back to Endless Space 2 The Riftborn. I'm very pleased to have you back. I did watch the first episode and I realized I made, I think, something which is a mistake. I forgot to improve the movement of my sheep. So let me tell you where I'm going with that. With that. Only three movement on these attacking ships is way too small. So, uh, oh, unfortunately, I can't add any more. So, I'm, I'm gonna be kind of stuck with that. And I was thinking, okay, well, I wanted to send my um, colonizer ship with these phantom ship, which are um, attackers. However, they only have three movement and the colonizer has six, so they won't be able to stick together. So, I'm definitely gonna retrofit these guys. Um, to give him 9 movement because, as you can see, all of my nearby systems do not have colonizable planets at the moment, and I desperately need to colonize another system. Um, so I think we were done for this turn, actually. I'm gonna get the guys that I will have to retrofit. I've got a fair amount of dust, so that's, that's fine. Let's move on. And... With that guy, we're gonna move on to HGD5833 and we're gonna set some uh, probes, one that way, and that's Lacerta. And I think I'm gonna send the other one this way. Can a little bit of that and then towards the center. So, what do we have in Lacerta? A large tundra. And what I'm interested in, mainly industry, gold or sand, that's quite nice. Tiny ice. So it's a cold system, um, which quite a lot of science. So it's, I think, okay. It has a large tundra, which I think I can get by doing, yeah, xenobiology. Um, so at least that's that. And I'm really good in science. I do feel I'm going for a science victory in this game. Um, so it would be good to go here and colonize this one, even though it has six food, which I'm not really interested in. Um, and you, my friend, you're going to move that way. I do have my colonizer here, and I said I wanted to retrofit it. That's a hundred, that's quite expensive. But that was my mistake. Okay, and now we can just create and tell him to move over there. I don't know how long it's going to take. It didn't say three turns. Okay, that's quite good. And so here I'm going to get my two phantom. Actually... How is it looking? Yeah, I do have another spare defense module, which I should definitely use. Um. More health or more shield? I already do have a... Let's see. The balance between the hull plating absorption and the shield absorption. Um, well, actually it doesn't say which one is on which side, but we can look here. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any defense. Let's do... Let's get the health bonus. Did I? No, I didn't took the health bonus. Okay, better like that. Um, okay. Oh, again, I will have to retrofit my new units. And like that. And I think I'm gonna make a third one. I don't need any of these. Um, this one's gonna give me great industry. But something like plus five, so it's not that extraordinary. Um, and then I don't have any strategic depot. Well, no, I don't have any. Um, happiness, I think we are happy, so don't really need extra happiness. And that will be important. But we'll see that in three turns. Okay, so the guys was finished, and we finished the research for Marketplace. So actually... Let's quickly have a look at the marketplace. 
quite like these um, diagrams, they're pretty cool. And I can already buy some titanium, which I think I'm going to do. So I either can buy 5 or 10. I think I'm going to buy 10. You'll see they're going to be super useful for building the bubbles. Compress singul compression singularity. You'll see that in action at some point. I think I can... yeah, I can do it now. No, oh, interesting. Wait. If I do that first, it speeds up everything? That is quite interesting. Okay. So we finished one phantom and the compression singularity. We finished Dino biology, which will let me colonize the Tundra planet. And as expected, the ecologists are in the lead of the next political election, which is next turn. Oh, Electra is there, and oh, two colonizable planets. Let's see what do we have. Looks like a giant, huge gas burning, which is great for industry, but quite far from it. Huge lava, also great for industry. A tiny monsoon, which is average, but it does some some stuff. And a tiny forest, which has a lot of food, or medium food, but I guess it's quite decent. I might colonize one of these instead. Yeah, let's do it. I can always go back to La Certa later on and try to control everything in between. Um, so there's a huge gas and huge lava. And I think if I wanted to colonize them, I would need that for gas. And I'm not sure where lava is, but it's probably quite far away. Let's see, ash and lava, yeah, so let's forget about that. But this one I'll be able to do at some point, which makes me think I might want to go that way. But, zoom out, I haven't done any military at all, and that's bad. So here I've got additional manpower and health on the support module, plus 40 initial XP on ships, on fleets, then converting one population into 300 manpower, um, which I think should help me get rid of my minor faction population. That might be something quite good. And here I'm going to unlock plus 200 manpower capacity. Definitely want to do that. I need to increase my manpower. Um, and then weapons. Let's go for that. Two turns. That's absolutely fine. Um, so send my sheep on the way. So you're gonna go here as well. And we're gonna have to explore the these things, these curiosities. Um, there's one pirate sheep over there, an attacker, so I need to be careful. And he's got... Um, how do I keep that? Um, okay, anyway, anyway, it's got projectile, I think, and long range, medium range. Which means... If I look at that guy... I don't think he's got the correct type of protection against what this guy has for attack. That's fine. He doesn't have the same protection as I do, so my arms, my weapons are going to be efficient. Okay, I th think we're done. The elections, ooh. Did cost me quite a lot to build that bubble. That's going to be nice. Experience per turn on sheep. Or ten turns. You know what? I'm going to activate that now. Just to show you. 
left click to place a singularity. Look at that, so cool. I'm not sure this was the best decision, maybe I should have put it on my new system, but just looks so cool. I think it's gonna let me produce a few units and get some manpower as well. Because if I look here, my main manpower limit is 300, and that's what I was thinking. Your empire is lacking troops to fill your star systems and flee. Oh, hello, Lumeris. I greet you in the name of the four families. We have 300 map manpower. Fortunately, I don't have enough. But... We've finished everything. I said I wanted to retrofit that for 55... Yeah, it's fine. Let's do that for one turn, and then we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what's with what we do next. I might queue up. How much is that? 87, and I've got production of 120, so that should give me some manpower. Okay. Heroes leveled up. So level 3. So look quickly. I Do I want to assign it to my sheep fleet? No. Not yet. Plus 1 food on planet. Not interesting. Plus 2 per population on planet. That's plus 10 industry. That's quite good. But this is better. And that's... Plus 20% manpower refill rate on fleet. I'm not sure it's worth it. I'm going to take the dust, actually, because I think I need more dust. And 10% is, is very good. And... Okay, construction finished. So where are the Lumiris? Here, over there. And they're going to conquer Mira. Which has a tiny savanna. Okay, a medium arid. Okay, I'll be able to go over there. Ooh, okay. Um, that might be worrying. But I, I think I still should be able to colonize. Um, we'll see. And my other probe is going that way. Okay, I think we're good for that turn. Elections! Ideally, I would prefer industrialists to win, so I'm gonna give them my official support. However, I can't do anything else, so here it goes. Oh, militarists. Well, that's it. Now we're ecologists, as kind of expected. Hardship ready has been activated on the Empire. Enables colonization of telluric planets. However, you will suffer a penalty. I don't have any telluric planet, I think. That's fine, actually. Let me praise you a little bit. And... So what, what else do we have? We've finished the Phantom and we've got Fabricated Forces. So manpower, 500. Um, plus 60, minus 40, so, okay, we're sustaining enough manpower here, that's good. And let's see here, what can I do? Okay, I can do that, that's kind of what I want. Chain gang program. Huh, interesting. Um, military 2. I do have uh, finished that. That's good. And a low has been cancelled. Okay. So what do we want? Um, more industry, more science, or happiness. I'm going to go for that. Bunkers. 
end. Let's move the ships over there. You're not there yet. Wait. It's my colonizing ship. Okay. Next turn. Next turn we're gonna be able to colonize, isn't it? Yeah. That's quite good. Colonizing by turn 11, 12. Pretty happy about that. Okay, nothing here from my probe and nothing there as well. So let's see. Where are the bandits? Let's create a new fleet. Okay, and let's just guard for now. I mean, they're going to be so slow anyway. And now, uh, in terms of research, I do feel that I might have to defend my new settlement. However, I also said I wanted to colonize gas giants. And to do so, I need another technology from here. That's for gold. Dust. The dust as well. Or I could go for some military technology. Anyway, I think that's going to be very expensive. 761. It's like 8 turns. I probably need to go for something else before. Um, hmm, let's have a look. Plus 1 science per population. And colonizing steps. I don't have any steps. Plus one per population on planets and plus two. That probably is better if I get some anomalies. Xenology enable, enables unlock of new heroes. I don't have the money for new heroes so I don't think it's gonna be worth. Extra influence not really useful at the moment and that is not interesting. That's not interesting as well so we either are gonna go for that Astro Finance Sounds pretty good. And then in terms of military mm, this looks quite good. Better weapons, better defense common points and another support module and um, manpower. Let's get this. Let's see where we get. New minor civilization discovered the Epistis. They are war monger. Hmm, interesting. Um, first contact. Where are they? Over there. Quite quite far away. That's fine. Marketplace. Transvine Influx. Actually, let's look at the marketplace. Titanium. There's no titanium. There's some Transvine. I think what I would be interested in would be the Jadonix. And it's quite cheap at the moment, even though it's on the up. I could buy some, but I think I need 25 to do anything with it. Uh, where would I find that? Systems... Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, let's not worry too much about it. Population lost in Epistis. Yes, that's what I was wondering. And chain gang program finished. Uh, so my manpower should be pretty good at the moment. And I can rebuild population. Perfect. That's gonna give me, should give me more industrialist. Okay, so there are two ships in here. So we're gonna have our first battle. But before we do that, Let's move the sheep forward and 
Let's colonize this one. Wait, 362, and we have deciduous trees, happiness, and plus two dust, or and metallic waters, which is plus one industry per pop, which is pretty good, but it disables the happiness. It does, these are two quite good bonuses. However, in terms of raw stats, yeah, actually that's probably better. At least when I'm gonna get the population. Okay, 27 turns, that's quite long. I'm sure it will be faster next turn, so we'll see. Uh, maybe because... Maybe because there's someone defending it, and that could be a problem. Did they colonize it? Oh no, it's an outpost. Yet, still. What do we have here? Medium jungle, medium ash, medium mental. Ooh, these, these should be quite nice as well. I don't think I'm gonna expand that way. So we are saying, let's fight. Uh, I don't know if this is a distance where I can fight it. There's 575 health and 41 attack, 50 defense. And this one has pretty much the same, but worse attack and defense. Pretty sure we can fight, even on a one-on-one. -on -one. So let's not watch this battle, I mean, I'll show you some battle, then the commands and the camera in a later battle. This one's gonna be too straightforward. Plus two dust gain for each lost sheep common point on fleet. Um, this is gonna have... What is that? Beams or projectiles, I think. A 50% increase of the morale. Uh, let's go for extra dust. Decisive victory, we haven't lost anything, so that is fantastic. Okay, I think we're good to move on. Um. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Just to click here. New event, Riled Researchers. It appears that an intergalactic congress of scientists has turned into a labor dispute. Can ignore that, gain a lot of industry and increase industrialist political ideology. Or I can help the scientists and lose some dust. Hmm. Can't afford to lose some dust. So I'll have, and that, I'm an industrialist anyway, so let's go for industry. Okay, we've finished another construction. And we've researched. I think we've researched Astro Finance here. Perfect. And. So let's see, what have we unlocked? You did basic system development, perfect. I will be able to do that from somewhere. That, here. I'll have to pick something so I can upgrade mine. I need a certain luxury to do so, which I don't know which one. Okay, so you move here, and with your probe, let's launch a probe here. Runs vine. Runs vine. Plus happi happiness. Okay. New event: the ghost of the machine. There are ruins in this system, old enough and sophisticated enough that they must have come from the endless. Hmm, interesting. So, looting or investigate, 80% chance to discover something, I think that's probably worth it. 
because it's minus 50 all right it's gonna be probably minus 100 science so i'm gonna lose one turn out of 10. they find find something i want to reduce the militaristic influence in my empire you now i have access to transvine okay let's go in the economy stream and i can use transvine to improve Happiness. Approval. Sorry, I keep calling that happiness. Not really that interesting. Let's send another probe. And we found deciduous trees and some loot. Okay. New luxury discovered. And so that would give me dust. That's already a little bit better. However, I need 25, so let's not do that yet. And I could fight. Against a Positron? No, I'm not gonna fight. Actually, I might lose if I stay here. Well, we'll see. It was worth it. We can attack here again. That's against a shuttle, which has the same defense as before. So we're going to do the same tactic. Decisive victory. We've lost a little bit of health on that. Beep. That's fine. And this bubble is still going on. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I think we're going to end it up here. In the next episode, we're definitely going to finish colonizing Electra, and then we might move on to Lacerta. And it would be good to praise these guys a bit more. Alright, see you soon.